is Susan Solomon, a research chemist at uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Aronomy Laboratory in Boulder, Colorado. I've been privileged to be here for more than 20 years. I think it's one of the greatest places in the world to work, and the colleagues that I have here are fantastic people. I've also been really lucky in terms of the things that I've been able to work on, and uh, the main focus of my work actually has had to do with ozone depletion particularly the ozone depletion that occurs in the Antarctic. You may have heard of it uh, as the Antarctic ozone hole. I have absolutely feel that one of the, the greatest experiences of my life was going to Antarctica in 1986, which allowed me to make measurements there, not just of ozone, but also of other things that affect it, particularly the chemicals that uh, we were able to help show are responsible for causing the ozone hole. Those chemicals are chlorofluorocarbons. I had earlier done some work looking at mechanisms that might be responsible for producing the ozone hole, so sort of a theoretical study trying to explain how this mysterious hole was forming. And uh, what I suggested was that polar stratospheric clouds might play a role in that unusual chemistry that goes on down there. That's related to the fact that Antarctica really is the coldest place on Earth. It's so cold that clouds can form in the Antarctic stratosphere. And I suggested that they might change the chemistry in, in ways that simply couldn't happen at warmer temperatures. It turned out that that uh, idea was, uh, was valid, was correct, and the first element in forming the ozone hole is a, a reaction between hydrochloric acid and chlorine nitrate on the surfaces of polar stratospheric clouds. So, most the story of my work really has revolved around Antarctica, both looking at the theory of Antarctic ozone depletion and at observations that uh, have helped to show why the ozone depletion happens. In recent years, I've uh, been doing more work that relates to climate change, where I've done things like look at the various factors that influence the climate, not just emissions of carbon dioxide, but other greenhouse gases, things like uh, the ways that tropospheric ozone can form, and also, indeed, the effect of stratospheric ozone depletion on surface climate is, is also quite important, and I've done quite a bit of work on that. So, in general, it's uh, a pleasure to have an opportunity to do this kind of work, to really be able to choose your scientific problems the way that, that I have is, uh, is a real blessing, I think, and I'm very grateful for that, and I'm very, very grateful to have been selected for this wonderful award. Life just seems to be full of wonderful surprises for me, so thank you very much. My name is Roy Miller. I've had the privilege to work in Susan Solomon's group since 1988. Um, I came here as an undergraduate student to work for one summer with a woman. I had no idea who she was or what they did here. Um, I was pleased to find out that uh, they do a lot of interesting science. It's been um, wonderful working here. And a piece that perhaps not too many people know is that uh, Susan's a wonderful woman to work for, to work with, uh, in addition to being a fantastic, insightful scientist. Uh, she has a wonderful way of uh, managing our group, um, allowing us to explore the parts we are interested in. and. Um, and uh, live up to our potentials. Uh, I think that's probably the point that I would like to stress the most.